Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today. And very special thanks to uh, His Royal Highness the Duke of York for hosting us here today at St James' Palace. And it's a great pleasure to welcome leaders of so many world-class companies uh, around the table today. Uh, and, of course, our honoured guest, President Trump, who uh, knows a thing or two about business himself as, uh, as well. But I think the range of companies that we see around this table shows us the huge scope there is in the transatlantic business links that we have between the United States and the United Kingdom. And the numbers, I think, just show that. They speak for themselves. Um, our trade between our nations last year worth almost $240 billion. Um, we see that uh, British companies employ a million, I think we've used this figure before, British companies employ a million citizens in the US and uh, every morning uh, a million people here in the UK go to work for American companies here in the, uh, in the UK. And uh, it's a great partnership, but I think it's a partnership that we can take even further. Of course, that's with a, a good bilateral trade agreement, um, but also, I think, building a wider economic partnership for the, uh, for the future as well. And working together and continuing to work together in underpinning, shaping and influencing the global economy, the rules on which that's based and its institutions. Because we believe in keeping markets <coughs> free, fair and open. And, uh, and keeping our industries and our businesses competitive. And I think there are huge opportunities for us to seize together in the future. Um, and challenges for us to work together to tackle on as well. And uh, the opportunity today is that we're going to be able to look at how we do both of those. <coughs> now, in a few moments, I was, uh, will ask uh, Sir Roger Carr to uh, start the discussion. But uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you, Mr. President, uh, if you would like to open with your thoughts. <coughs> well, thank you very much, Prime Minister. I appreciate it. I very much appreciate the relationship we've had. It's been outstanding. And uh, I guess some people know that, some people don't. But you and I know it. But it's been really a very good relationship, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, we are your largest partner. You're our largest partner. A lot of people don't know that. I was surprised I made that statement yesterday, and a lot of people said, gee, I didn't know that. But that's the way it is. And uh, there's an opportunity, I think, a great opportunity to greatly enlarge that, especially now in light of what's happening, to tremendously enlarge that, make it much bigger, the trading relationship. So we're going to be working on that today and even a little bit tomorrow and uh, probably into the next couple of weeks. But I think we'll have a very, very substantial trade deal. It'll be a very fair deal. And I think that uh, this is something that your folks want to do, my folks want to do, and we want to do. And we're going to get it done. Uh, I'd just like to congratulate you on having done a fantastic job on behalf of the people of the United States. And it's an honor to have worked with you. And I don't know exactly what your timing is, but stick around. Let's do this deal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much.